Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to show you how to deep clean the inside of your portable air conditioner. Now this video is not for a specific brand of air conditioner. The method that I'm going to use is pretty basic and pretty much the same for any air conditioner you'll have as long as it's a floor model. So regardless of the brand that you have, all you're going to do is find all your screws on the outside and you're going to remove them. So this one just has them on the sides, sometimes they're on the back. So you just take all those screws out and I'll show you the next step in a sec. Alright, so once you get all the screws off that are on the outside of your air conditioner, you'll be able to pull the shell off. This will give you access to your coils. Now I'm just going to pinch off the hose that drains it just so we don't get any extra leaking on the floor. And when you spin it around, your front will also come off. Again, depending on the model, there may be a series of clips on the side holding it in place. And then if you have your control panel on the top, there's usually a little set of wires that you can unclip. All you do, just unclip them. So that's your control panel at the top. So now, you have access to the whole inside here. So that's your back coil there. And your front coil is down in there. So all you're going to do first is you're going to vacuum it off and then we're going to hit it with a chemical. So for this vacuuming step, I suggest a shop vac. You might not want to use your regular vacuum depending on how dirty and nasty it is but that's entirely up to you. So we're just going to go ahead and get started on cleaning the coils with the vacuum. All right, so now that you're done all the vacuuming, you're gonna use a chemical such as this one here. I'll put a link in the description below. It's specifically designed for your coils to be safe on them. So you're just gonna use, we're actually gonna get some gloves on our hands and some safety glasses. And if you're doing it inside, have a window open for ventilation and just follow the directions on your specific chemical that you get. And you do the same for both sets of coils. And then obviously there's some electronics down here. So if it's like this one, some have them just on the back. You can just spray like crazy. But if it's like this, it's in behind electronics. Just be careful that you don't soak the electronics. All right, so this specific chemical tells us to wait, most of them will, so it can soak in and do its magic. So I'll come back in a few minutes 
and see how it's doing. All right, so now that we've had this soaking for a while, we're just gonna use a stiff bristle brush and give this a little wipe down. And the reason I like the one, the chemical I'm using today is because it's a non-rinse chemical, which means I can actually just leave it on. And when your water runs off, when all the condensation happens, you can actually, it'll just actually drip out and it's non-toxic. This one is fairly dirty though, so we're going to rinse it anyways, just to get some of the junk out of it. Alright, so I'm going to set this up on our washing machine so that we can drain it easily into our sink. So we'll be with you shortly. All right, so now that we're near our sink, we're just gonna unclip our drain hose, let all the stuff flow out. And we're just gonna get some water just to wash it all down. All right, so now all you have to do after you've rinsed it, let all your water drip out, and then you'll be good to go and put it back together. All right, folks, so we're just waiting for this to drain still. So we're just gonna put it back together while it's draining. So make sure if you took off your cord for your control panel, you just put it back on. All right, once all your clips are in place, you put, put the back half back on. So I know this is fairly dirty on the outside, but this is just a video to show you how to do your coil cleaning. So we'll focus on that later ourselves. All right, folks, so that's all there is to it. Again, this wasn't brand specific. This is just to give you an idea how easy it is to take care of your coils. So just remember, take off all your screws on the outside, take off your shell, it exposes your coils, vacuum them off. If that's not good enough, hit it with the chemical, then you're good to go, put it all back together and start using it all over again. So hopefully you found this helpful. And as always, please like and subscribe.